tell me something would you like to experience end of the world without actually being present there well you can by reading the book i have just read yes today i'll be reviewing harappa trilogy by vinit bajpay so i just want to tell you that this series or trilogy is a perfect blend of crime thrill mystery romance and history wow that sounds like a poem anyway so it grasps you so well that you do not feel like putting the book down now when i choose a book to read i usually see the synopsis i don't go by the cover i see the synopsis and determine whether i like the book i need to tell you something that the author has done such a commendable job while writing the synopsis because you just want to read all the three at once it is written in such way let me tell you how is it written so this is the synopsis of the first book so it says 2017 delhi vidyut's dying ancestor summons him to banaras the old brahmin chieftain of dev rakshasa mart or the god demon clan bears a chilling secret 1700 BC Harappa Harappa is a magnificent city on the banks of the almighty Saraswati river the darkness of treachery tantric exorcism and bloodshed unleashes itself on the last devta paving the way for his devastating revenge 2017 Paris the world's most powerful religious institution is rattled Europe's dreaded crime lord meets the mysterious man in Paris The prophesied devta has returned. What connects Banaras, Harappa, and Rome? What was the ancient curse, and who was the last devta? What is the terrible secret behind behind the fall of the colossal Indus Valley civilization? Read on as you travel through a saga of deceit and violence, gods and demons, love and ambition. So we follow three eras, and the central character is Vidya, who is all rounder. He is talented in. Uh, martial arts he knows various languages he's first gen- generation entrepreneur and all that sort of things which you know would make you fall in love with the central character and he also has the looks so uh, he is suddenly called back to dev rakshasa mart as i told you by reading the synopsis due to what is going to happen there's a particular thing that's going to happen and he has to return before that time so whatever he comes to know about his past his ancestor is totally mind blogging like he is dumbfound because things are so sinister so weird that he is not able to wrap his mind around things which are revealed to him i mentioned in my early part of the video that you know uh, would you like to see the end of the world all that sort of thing well the second book is prale prale means deluge the great deluge which comes upon now where it comes upon how it comes upon that's how it tells us that also we have read uh, indus valley civilization in our school days and about harappa but have you ever wondered why and how this civilization came to an end you haven't right you get to know all these answers there and when i read these books i was so in awe because everything was being revealed so nicely that you won't feel it is a fiction you cannot like change uh, you cannot differentiate between what is fiction and what is reality and you will keep questioning yourself if you like me that was it really this way and i would also commend the author because he has literally glorified india in a way that you will be like yeah that is right and you will feel proud to be an indian i felt that way anyway so vidyut also comes to know how one thing in his past is connecting there's a secret which is connecting harappa paris rome dev rakshasa mart in banaras all these places and other parts of world how they are connecting the secret is connecting them why who wants the secret not to be revealed why is that happening we come to know in the third book that is kashi the black temple which literally mind boggled me because it was chilling thrilling and everything i cannot describe in my words so what is the secret want to know get your own copy and read through the book which is filled with adventure secrecy crime thrill and i hope you enjoyed this book review and i hope i was able and i was able to convince you to read this book 
and you enjoyed it. So yeah, this is me signing off. Bye bye. Tata. Sayonara and ciao. Hi Vineet, welcome to the Bookish Nook.